Hi, and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Lauren. If you're new, it's almost 11 o'clock Saturday morning. I am finishing packing up a bag because I'm going to Jacksonville with my friend Taylor and we're meeting Maya there. Um, I'm waiting on Taylor to get here. We're gonna drive together. We're gonna take my car and drive to Jacksonville to celebrate our friend Maya's birthday. So it's gonna be a fun little night. We're only staying for the night. Maya's been up there since yesterday, but I'm really excited. I've actually, I don't, I think I've only been to Jacksonville once, but I really don't remember it at all. So I'm really excited. It's about two hours away from Orlando. So it's gonna be a, just a quick drive there and we're gonna stay the night and then we're gonna come back tomorrow. So I thought I'd bring you guys along. I haven't started off the vlog yet today. I woke up probably around seven o'clock, showered, got ready, did all the things and packed because I didn't pack at all. So it's only for a night, so it's not even a big deal. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and start off this vlog. Welcome you guys back to another YouTube video. Gonna do a little weekend in my life vlog. Taylor and I are gonna go get Starbucks before we hit the road, so I'm excited about that. We're gonna get Maya a last minute birthday gift, probably like a Starbucks gift card and something else. But yeah, so this is what I'm wearing. These white sweatpants, I literally can't stop wearing. It's insane. I have these sweatpants in like three colors. Taylor's calling me. Hello. Hey, um... But um, these sweatpants are from Aloe Yoga. I've, I have them in three colors. They're so good. And then I have this big sweater from Misguided. And I have it just like tucked in. Because we're doing kind of like a casual laid back birthday celebration for her. So all the comfies, which I'm super excited and glad about because that's what I live in on the weekends. And yeah, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. Getting out of Orlando for the weekend. It's gonna be a lot of fun. just got Starbucks for the road. I got a cold brew with vanilla sweet cream cold foam and also a um, red pepper egg white bite. And we got Maya a little gift. This um, tumbler says great for cold brew and she loves cold brew. So we got her this and then just a little gift card for her birthday. It's a small little gift last minute. And um, Taylor, what'd you get? The um, the brown sugar ice shake and espresso with the bacon egg white bites, which I've never had before from them. We had the uh, egg white bites from Duncan. I don't like, like a few weeks ago, much. and they weren't as good as. And I got a buttered croissant because yeah. I'm a little hungover and I need it. <laughs> so now we're ready. We're gonna hit the road. I actually need to put the the address in or check my How far is it? Two hours and like three. It's so gloomy here. I hope it's not gloomy there. Okay, do two hours and nine minutes.
made it back to Orlando. I didn't really vlog much in Jacksonville. I was literally there for 24 hours. We were just having fun, living in the moment. I got a few clips of everywhere we went, what we were doing. Just not a lot of me talking, but that's okay. I posted a little Jacksonville photo dump on Instagram. So I will link my Instagram down below and I'll also put my name on the screen so you can check it out. I'm going to Whole Foods right now and then I'm going to Publix, but I just spent over two hours in the car. So kind of like the last thing I want to do is be in the car right now, but we're getting stuff done. We're preparing for the work week because I go back to work tomorrow. And yeah, we're doing, we're getting stuff done. The weather is 20 degrees or like 15 degrees warmer in Orlando than it is in Jacksonville. So it's such a temperature change. It's kind of, it's 67 degrees, so it's warmer here. And there it was like 50 degrees, windy, rainy, cold. So it's just completely different here in Orlando. But going to Whole Foods right now, have a few things on the list. I'm gonna make Mexican lasagna for dinner. Need to get stuff to meal prep. I'm not gonna meal prep today, I'm just not there. And I'll meal prep tomorrow. I just got home from Whole Foods and I thought I would do a quick Whole Foods haul. I got some new stuff, some same stuff and I wanted to show you guys what I picked up for, I guess, the week or the next few weeks. First off, I got my almond milk. I get the milk almond milk and I buy it in bulk because I go to Whole Foods like once a month or every like three to four weeks. So I buy four at a time and I got just four milk unsweetened almond milks and it's my favorite thing to add to my coffee. Also got a cold pressed juice shot. I got the spicy one. Okay, this is all of the snacks that I got and that I am constantly basically repurchasing. So I got the Lesser Evil Power Curls, the no cheese cheesiness. I like these, these have protein in them and they have really good ingredients. This brand is really good to get multiple of their snacks. So I got two of the Power Curls. I got three of the Sun Popper sour cream and onion flavor. These are really good as well. So I got three of them. We go through them really quick. They're so good. I also got this um, sea salt and vinegar CSA chips. I haven't tried this flavor yet. I'm sure it's good. I like salt and vinegar chips. I just have never tried it from this brand. And this is a really good brand, really good ingredients. And they're all gluten-free, dairy-free, grain-free, soy-free. So I love Siete chips. Okay, I got these. I'm excited about these. I haven't tried these before. They are chomps. It's a good way to get protein in. I got two different flavors. I got the turkey and pepperoni. Or pepperoni seasoned turkey stick. And then I also got the original beef stick. So I got a few of those. We'll see if they're good. And lastly, I got two of my favorite chocolates. I used to eat these a lot in college. They're just better chocolates for you. There's no refined sugar, no cane sugar, no sugar alcohols, no oils, dairy, soy, all that stuff. So I just got these. I got vanilla crunch and cashew butter. I'm gonna have a little bit of this, put the groceries away, and then I'm gonna go to Publix and get the rest of my stuff and some ingredients for dinner tonight. I'm gonna cook dinner. I'll show you what I'm cooking. I'll even share the recipe. It's really good, easy dinner. And we're gonna bring it for lunch tomorrow and Christian's gonna have it for lunch tomorrow as well. Just to make it easier and then I will meal prep our lunches tomorrow. <laughs>
thought I would do a quick Publix haul, show you what I got, show you what I am meal prepping for lunches. I'm not gonna meal prep in this vlog. I'm actually gonna do it tomorrow. So let me just start over here. Okay, so I got these so delicious uh, dairy-free coconut yogurts. These are really good. They were doing a deal, 10 for 10, so I got 10 of them. I just love the unsweetened version. I put granola on top of it. The Purely Elizabeth original granola is my favorite. And then I got two blueberries because they only had eight unsweetened. I got some guacamole because we're doing burrito bowls for lunch meal prep for the week. And this is just to go on the burrito bowls. Got some spring mix for my burrito bowls. And then I got some pico for the burrito bowls for meal prep. I got two of these. Doc Pop poppies. Um, I got some pre-cut yellow onion for dinner for tonight. These are really good and easy dinner side. These Simply Potatoes, they're just so good and easy. Got center cut bacon for the weekend, next weekend, just for breakfast. I got black beans for meal prep and then pinto for tonight's dinner. Some of this Rayos Bolognese. This is really good brand. I got some ground beef for dinner for tonight. Big bag of lemons. If you guys know, you know that I drink lemon water every single morning. And then I got this three cheese tortellini. And I think that's it. So that's a little, oh, I need to put all the stuff that I took to Jacksonville away, but this is what I got from Publix. I'm gonna put it all away and then maybe start cooking dinner in the next 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna try the Doc Pop Poppy right now. I expected it to be like purple. Do you think this isn't a purple soda? <gasps> I don't know why. I don't know why I thought this would be purple soda -y. It's not. I wanted something like a Fanta. I don't like that at all. Definitely not a grape soda. Well, this would be grape soda. And it just kind of tastes like a cherry. Black Coke. <laughs> cherry Coke with like vanilla. Oh, I just crave. What? I don't know why, Blaze, I just crave Blaze it. Blaze pizza? Yeah. You don't want Mexican on here? I just crave Blaze when we talk about the soda, I don't know why. Because they have the sodas with the machine, right? Or they have those fun fruit drinks. I just want a grape soda. I don't know why. Probably rate it six out of 10. What do you rate? Yes. It's a 3.4. 3.4 and a 6. Okay, this is what I'm going to be cooking tonight. I've had this screenshotted since 2020. It's Mexican lasagna. You can screenshot this if you're interested in making it. It's super easy, only a few ingredients, and you get leftovers. So we're going to take it for lunch tomorrow. But I'm going to start cooking this because you have to put it in the oven for 30 minutes. So I'm going to brown the meat and we are adding onion to the recipe. And you can also add corn, but since we're using corn in our burrito bowls this week, I'm not going to add it to this. We're just doing a whole lot of Mexican. Just finished simmering the ground beef. I'm going to spray the pan with this avocado oil spray. Here are the pinto beans, the cheese I'm going to be using, and these are the tortillas I'm using. These are so good. I love the Siete brand. So now I'm going to assemble this and put it in the oven.
I just got one of the blue bottle coffee beans in the giant steps one. I've talked about this before, but I get it every two weeks and I have quite a bit left in the container and it's been two weeks. And I think the reason why I ran out so quick the first few times of doing the subscription was because we had people in town those first few weeks of me doing the subscription. So that's probably why I was going through the coffee so quick. So I think I'm gonna switch to every three weeks because I only have one cup of coffee or espresso a day. So I probably could last another five days. So I think I'm gonna start doing it every three weeks. That way I don't have too much on hand. So I'm gonna transfer these beans to this airtight container. One of you actually messaged me and said that you ordered this coffee bean. So let me know if you're watching this video. Let me know if you like it or if any of you guys have ordered it. Let me know if you like it or let me know which one you're drinking if it's different because I'd love to try a different one too. But I just really do enjoy the giant steps one. Okay, Christian and I just ate some dinner. We watched an episode of Euphoria. I finally put away my stuff from my little trip to Jacksonville. Now I'm gonna get in the shower. I need to put away some laundry that I have like hanging up in my closet over there. I'm actually really excited because this is like my last full week of work for the next two weeks, which will be so nice. Not this week, but next week I'm going to Nashville. So I'm taking off work Thursday, Friday, and then we have that Monday off for President's Day. So it'll be a really nice long weekend and I'm super, super excited about it. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the upcoming Nashville vlog. I have never been to Nashville and we're going with the same crew that we went to California with and they're just such good people so I'm so excited. And then another couple is joining us. So I'm just so excited for that trip. So I just wanted to go ahead and end off this video, do some things before I get ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend of my life, 24 hours in Jacksonville vlog, and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.